This is Nightline, March 2nd, 2012. Good evening, I'm Cynthia McFadden. Tonight, breaking news as dozens of tornadoes deliver a body blow to the nation's midsection, turning towns into rubble and leaving at least 24 dead across three states. The path of destruction is historic in its width, with storms reported as far south as Georgia and as far north as Illinois. ABC's Ginger Z has been chasing the storms all day and reports now from Jasper, Indiana. Ginger? Cynthia, this is one of the most incredible storm chases that I've ever been on. I could see this coming in the computer models for days, but as the images start coming in, it's still unbelievable. Oh, that is just amazing. Today will go down as one of the most destructive March days in recent weather history. Tornadoes tearing up the heartland. This twister took aim at the tiny town of Henryville, Indiana. Tornado. Bearing down with winds estimated to near 165 miles per hour. The 2,000 residents here hit by a pair of tornadoes just minutes apart. This is total devastation. I lived there for 28 years. I've never seen anything remotely close to this. They were part of a myriad of storms that ripped across the country today. Just the latest this week in a series of deadly twisters. The result? Overwhelming devastation. We're looking at Henryville, Indiana. Total destruction up there, folks. This is very, very serious. In Henryville, the roof ripped off the high school. A bus tossed on its side. But miraculously, it appears that none of the 400 students were injured. One person died in Henryville, and almost every landmark in this little community was destroyed. You could see it just flying as fast as it could, and, and then when we come we out to the door, you could see it coming. To, it was like right coming to us. We had to run in the house like and go in the basement. At least 13 people were killed across the state of Indiana. We started chasing these violent storms first thing this morning. So we're in Louisville, Kentucky, and we need to get west. Already thunderstorms popping up all to our west. What they will do is move east and northeast, and the intent is to intercept them. This is actually a uh, serious situation, a tornado emergency for northern Madison County. The first two tornadoes of the day touched down in the northeast corner of Alabama. Holy crap! Oh my God, look at all that rain over there. Look at it. Ripping by this advanced auto parts store in Harvest. Another damaging Buckhorn High School in Newmarket, Alabama. As a student filmed from inside, hey, buddy, you feel that air? this is what it looked like from the outside. That's a damn tornado on the ground. Ten people were injured before the storm continued rolling north. This is going to be just a, a very dangerous day, and they have already issued a particularly dangerous situation. So this is something they don't do very often. It's called a PDS statement, and it's for the public. It just means danger today. It struck next in Tennessee. Like a train, just like, just like they say it sounds like. It really is. In Chattanooga, at least 20 homes were ripped off their foundations. <laughs> As this monster system took aim at Indiana, we caught sight of the state's biggest twister just as it was forming. Time is 2.08. You've got to see this. Circulation, it is happening. The atmosphere is angry right now. You can see it. As the afternoon wore on, there was no let up. When you hear us tell you to get to your basement, I want you to not walk. I want you to run down into your storm shelter. So why did this happen? There are a few answers, but one is the position of the storm. It had plenty of heat and moisture to suck up from the Gulf of Mexico. That's what fuels the long track thunderstorms. It had cold, dry air from the northwest. An incredible difference in temperature over a short distance. And most importantly, it had wind shear. The one element you need for tornadoes. Before today, authorities have counted about 120 tornadoes, 50% more than we'd normally have this time of year. Communities from Tennessee to Indiana are still reeling from the impact of storms earlier in the week that left at least 13 people dead and hundreds injured. Harrisburg, Illinois was one of the hardest hit this week. Half of the known deaths came from this small town. They endured further tornado warnings again today. The images of destruction from across the heartland, heartbreaking. 
as damaged communities try to dig out of the rubble left behind. Ginger Z, reporting for Nightline in Jasper, Indiana.